For Mother's Day 2020 that just passed, I made Belizean milk cake for dessert. Belizean milk cake is basically a white cake, but for the frosting we use boiled sweetened condensed milk. Welcome to the Bear Pantry Show. If you're looking for authentic Belizean recipes, then you're in the right place. My name is Barbara and this is Cooking Made Simple. I'm going to be using butter softened to room temperature, some granulated white sugar, five eggs guys. This cake is a greedy cake. It uses a lot of eggs. Some all-purpose flour that I'm going to sift, baking powder, evaporated milk, and the secret ingredient is this, pineapple extract. So let's get started first by sifting the flour. And then to another bowl, I'm going to add the sugar and the butter. And I will have the ingredients listed below in the description, okay? So using the hand mixer, I'm just going to go ahead and cream the butter and the sugar until the sugar is totally dissolved and everything looks fluffy. So use a spatula to scrape down the bowl as you go. This little hand mixer has served me well over the years. It's only 15 bucks and it's still going strong. See how this is looking guys? Creamy, right? So I would say I did this for maybe 8 minutes, thereabouts. I'm not timing it, but it feels like about that. So once it's fluffy and smooth, go ahead and add the eggs one at a time, like I'm doing here. And if a couple of eggs escape and get in there together, don't worry. Don't forget to scrape down the bowl. And you know what I found out? You have to scrape off your spatula too. Not just the edge of the bowl, okay? Okay, so let's get one of the other eggs. Remember there were five. Just do them one at a time to make sure they become well incorporated. I got some batter on my arm. So here's the last one. Okay, so now it's time to add the extract. If you don't have pineapple, go ahead and use lemon extract, but do not use vanilla because it will change the taste of the cake, okay? That's our little secret, me and mommy. <laughs> okay. And I know you're going to see this video well after Mother's Day, but I'm actually making this cake for Mother's Day for myself. So let me add the baking powder to the flour. Give it a whisk. I'm not adding any salt because my butter was salted, but if you don't use a salted butter, go ahead and add about a half a teaspoon of salt into your dry ingredients, all right? So I've mixed in a third of the dry ingredients into the wet, and I'm folding it in first because I don't want the flour and the baking powder to go flying everywhere. And even if I weren't running the camera to do this, I would still do that, okay? Because I don't like a lot of cleanup when I'm doing this type of stuff. It's time to add the evaporated milk and I'm only going to use 10 ounces out of this 12 ounce tin. If you're one of my friends or family members that's still using my old recipe from 30 years ago, I've changed the recipe, okay? Back then we used to do one, two, three, one cup of butter, two cups of sugar, and three cups of flour. But we were using coffee cups to measure with instead of measuring utensils. So because of that, I had to change the recipe. Only 10 ounces. If you mess up and you use that extra two ounce to make it 12, your batter will be too thin and you're gonna have to add more flour to it. Your cake is gonna become less sweet and more dry. So use that remaining two ounces of milk to put in your coffee. So all I'm doing is adding the dry ingredients a third of the time and then mixing it in. At first I used the spatula to fold it in because I don't want any kind of spatter going. And then mix the milk in. Okay, so let's add the last amount of the dry ingredients. The last third. And I'm just making sure that the dry ingredients get wet because I don't want any spatter. Okay, let me go ahead and mix with the hand mixer.
and then all I have to do is add the last amount of milk here we go I'm gonna add just this much because I'm afraid it might go flying everywhere and then you get that last little bit to make the full 10 ounces Mm -hmm. it's a very very thick batter and even when I'm trying to go to the bottom of the bowl with my hand mixer it's a lot of batter guys this is going to make a three layered cake let me scrape off everything on my spatula and because I was scraping my spatula along the way I have no dry spots on it okay mix this in well shut it off get off the feet I used to call these the legs but then somebody told me it's the feet scrape it off with this little spatula right here raise your hand if you used to lick this <laughs> I used to so here's one of my tins greased and floured now I've heard when it comes to batter all you have to do is spray it with some oil but I've never tried it with this cake and I don't want to mess it up now so I've put some parchment I just put the tin on top of it draw around it with a pencil and then cut it out so let's take the first two dollops and then do the same thing to the second tin and then the third one and then just eyeball it well let me shake it first because the batter is so thick you have to shake it eyeball it and just keep filling the three tins set the temperature at 350 now I didn't set the temperature at the start of making the cake because it's a very hot day for us today okay scrape everything out of my bowl get it off with the spatula I'm using a spatula to wipe off another spatula <laughs> okay now let's get them in there we're gonna set the timer for 35 minutes but I know we're gonna need more you guys notice why I put two on the top and one on the bottom I don't put anything in the back part of my oven because it's not leveled and the cakes are gonna go sloping not quite done yet let me give it 10 more minutes yeah now these are done check them with a toothpick all right if the toothpick is clean you're done so that was a total of 45 minutes I'm gonna let them sit here for about five minutes and then I'll be back look see oh spongy springy all right it's five minutes later let's get them out and peel off the parchment mm-hmm very beautiful so now I want to put milk on this because this is milk cake I bought two tins of sweetened condensed milk I'm gonna boil one in the slow cooker overnight I'm using this one for the first time which is crock pot the last time I did a video on this I used Euro Pro and I did it for seven hours and it was overdone so this time I'm gonna do it for six hours and see what happens even knowing that the crock pot cooks very slowly this is the next day mm, my milk is not cooked and it's Mother's Day oh yeah. you know what I'm just gonna go ahead and use the pressure cooker so put this cookie tin as a trivet make sure the water is one inch above the tin Joe is helping out here with the pressure cooker I'm showing him that you have to set it on canning he's never used that feature before he usually just does beef and beans and then set the timer for 30 minutes it's gonna take 30 minutes before it starts counting down but it's cooking in there the whole time okay so I'm not gonna waste this milk I'm gonna make lemon curd Joanne got some lemon from the neighbor's tree the neighbor in the back part of my yard he says we can get the lemons anytime we want so just some lemon and the milk that wasn't all the way cooked you can do this with the sweetened condensed milk you know um, that you didn't boil at all <laughs> 
So this is to your taste, but remember that the lemon juice will thicken up the milk. And let me get them off. I put some shrink wrap in between so my cakes won't stick. Now I have this cake upside down so the pretty side is on the platter. And I'm just going to spread this. And I already know it's not going to be enough so I'll just mix another batch and taste it again to make sure I have enough of the lemon or not too much. Let me put this cake and this is the pretty side facing me. Here's my next batch right here. Ooh, look at that guys spread it normally I would put strawberry jam you know in between you know that good smucker stuff but because I had that milk that was kind of cooked and not cooked I decided to let it not go to waste and to do this look how tall this cake is okay now I have to wait for my milk in the pressure cooker it started to count down finally after 30 minutes it count down so really and truly it was in the pressure cooker for an hour but the timer was set for 30 minutes Let's get it open and see. Mm-hmm. This is cooked. So just like I thought, my Euro Pro slow cooker used to cook faster than the uh, Crock-Pot brand. So now we're going to spread this on top of the cake. So no, this is not tres leches, like Jada's friend asked. Milk cake, is it tres leches? I'm like, no, just two leches. The evaporated milk and the condensed milk that's going to go on top, right, as a frosting. And this cake is very forgiving. It's not gonna crumble when you spread this thick milk on top. Okay. Oh, I wanna lick this so bad, guys, but I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna wait to just have a piece after my dinner. Spread it. Okay. Get some more right here on the top. See if it's a really flimsy cake, it's gonna fall apart with this thick, thick milk. Let's get it on the side. Uh huh. Now I kind of suck at frosting cakes, so I tend to like to leave the frosting messy, but I do smooth it out when I start. Oh, look at all that lemon curd. There's something quite ASMR-y about doing this. <laughs> it's not a sound thing, it's a look thing, right? Spread it. Now, if I had to share some of this milk in the layers, this would be a naked cake. It would stretch very thin. So if you want to put milk in between the layers, I would do two tins of the condensed milk, okay? I know my cousin Effie is watching and she's drooling because this is her favorite dessert. Okay, so I left it messy. Let's cut into it. I have a tool that I can decorate this cake with, but I'm going to do that after I do my thumbnail. Let me get a big chunk out. Now, this by no means is a serving. You guys, calm down. This is just for you guys to see. I'm trying to slide it off on the plate. Joe's showing you the inside. It's gorgeous. Oops, my slice fell. <laughs> I'm doing this so I can do my thumbnail. Mm -hmm. Now I'm outside doing the thumbnail on this little table that Joe made for me. Gorgeous. Let's go back inside and decorate it with that tool that I told you guys about. When I helped my friend Jessica clean up her house, this came as part of a cutlery set and somebody said it's to serve ham but I use it to do this. Just some squiggly lines. Pretty cool, right? Especially for somebody that does not know how to decorate cake. Nice texture, right? Here's my piece. No, I'm not going to eat this big piece, but I sure I'm going to taste off of it. Mm. I don't think we would have had enough of the milk 
put in between because these cakes are so big. But the lemon curd though. So see, we didn't let anything go to waste. That milk didn't boil in six hours. It wasn't enough in the crock pot brand. When I did the video before to show you how to boil the milk, I used a brand called Europro for the um, slow cooker. And that did it in seven hours and it was overdone. It was dark like this. But Crock-Pot brand, they cook slower. And so six hours wasn't enough, so I would go eight hours. I'll test it and tell you guys another time, all right? Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you're seeing me on Facebook, don't forget to follow, like, and share the page. If you're seeing me on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the page. And if you want to see me on a different platform, come and join the membership at Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash Bear Pantry Show.